Welcome to the last screencast of this chapter, where we are going to fine-tune our dashboard's interactivity. The first thing that I'm going to do is bring in a new filter. The way to do that is to go to the worksheet, in this case, the Start by Day worksheet. This visualization shows the number of bike trips by weekday, and the color represents a time block within each day. It would be nice to see the split for a specific season. To add the filter, I'll right-click on Seasons and click Show Filter. If I now go back to the dashboard and select the visualization from that worksheet, I can bring in filters by clicking this little arrow and then under Filters, selecting Seasons. As you can see, it was added here on the right. Let's first customize the filter so it displays the Apply button and then make it floating so that I can move it over next to the other filter. There we go. So, now we have this nice section with the filter instructions and both the time block and the seasons filter next to it. As you can see, if I make selections with these filters, the only chart that is going to update is the start by day visualization here on the bottom right corner. Ideally, we want all of the visualizations in this dashboard to change based on the filter selections made. The way to ensure that is by clicking this arrow next to the filter, and under Apply to Worksheets, I'm going to click Selected Worksheets. Check all worksheets that are present in this dashboard and click OK. Then, I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other filter. There you go. Now, if you change the filter, you'll see that every visualization is going to be updated. If we navigate to the individual worksheets, you'll see that every worksheet you have selected is filtered. Even if those worksheets didn't show the filter before. Let's go back to the dashboard. The only thing that we haven't taken into account yet when doing this is the tooltip. If you hover over Monday afternoon in the Starts by Day chart, it displays a tooltip value of 89,000 something. You'll see that if I filter, for example, for summer, it's still going to be the exact same value. If I do just winter, it's still the same value. So we can see on the bar chart that the value changes, but the tooltip values don't update. So what I should have done, instead of applying the filter to selected worksheets, is apply them to all using this data source. That will ensure that the other sheet, which displays the time block counts in the tooltip, is also going to be updated. Now you'll see that if I just select winter, the value is 12,000 something. And if I select summer, it's 44,000 something. So after doing this, everything is updated as it should. This is the dashboard with full interactivity. We just made sure that the entire dashboard updates based on the filter card selections. Don't forget that you have previously added another level of interactivity. By checking the Use as Filter icon, selections made in the visualizations themselves will also filter the data in the dashboard. Okay, over to you.